Most traders in the financial market are looking to make a lot of money. And they usually go about that by searching for special indicators or special settings for these indicators in the hope that they will make a profitable strategy. Unfortunately, that is not the right way to go about it. The best way to make money in the financial market is to start with the instrument characteristics. And once you know that, then you can easily adapt any indicator or even no indicator to come up with a profitable strategy. Now, for the past three years, I published many videos quantifying those edges in several instruments. For example, the S&P 500 is an instrument that tends to go up most of the time. So therefore, an up direction strategy almost certainly will make money in the S&P 500 index. While other instruments like the VIX and natural gas tends to go down most of the time. So any short strategy will make money on those instruments very easily. Now, those directional biases are not there by chance. In fact, they have fundamental reasons behind them. But if you can prove them statistically with numbers, then no need to look for a fundamental reason, although it doesn't hurt to know about it. So in this video, I will build a portfolio of strategies using no indicators only a single pattern using two instruments. Building a strategy that exploit the characteristics of the instrument you are trading will make you ahead of 90% of other traders. Because now if you know that the direction most of the time is long, then any long strategy will work. And even if you make mistakes or the strategy is not robust enough, you will still be able to make money. While if you go on the opposite direction, you can still make money, but that will be extremely hard and mistakes are not forgiven. So for example, if the S&P 500 goes up most of the time, that means the charts look like something like this. So we want to go long when this happens. So any pullback, we want to go long. That is the easiest way to make money in this type of market. While if you're trading the natural gas, which tends to go down most of the time, then we want to trade it when the price is pulling up a little bit and then we want to short. And that is the pattern we will use without any indicator. We will use the pattern when the price is pulling down, we will go along on the S&P 500 and when the price is pulling up and we will go short on the natural gas. Of course, you can add an indicator, but I'm just telling you, that once you figure out the direction of the instrument, it doesn't matter what you use, you will be able to create a robust, profitable strategy. So I will build these two patterns in Strategy Quantex. Now, Strategy Quantex is mainly a data mining package, but if you go to the Algo Wizard module, you can build strategies manually. So we'll go to Algo Wizard and we'll start a new strategy. So we need the full editor and we'll create a template. So like I mentioned, we'll start with the S&P 500. So this is trade station engine and the ES futures data. So this is the futures derivative of the S&P 500. And we will use a daily time frame. We will trade a fixed one contract at a time. So again, the pattern is extremely easy. So that's it. If the close lower than the previous close, we will go long. And then we will exit using the same type of pattern. So if the close move up, that means we are already profitable and we can exit. So we can add that in. So if the close below the previous close, we go long. And when it close above the previous high, we will exit. It's an extremely simple pattern. But because we are already working with the characteristics of the instrument we are trading, we can expect to make money. So if I run a full back test on this, and this is the strategy as expected, it's doing really well. And if we click on it, we have about 800 trades, about 75% win rate with about $300 on average. And this is the how the equity charts look like. Trade analysis. Since 2009, we have one losing year in 2018. So as expected, because we are exploiting the characteristics of the S&P 500, which is to go up most of the time, we can easily build a strategy with no indicator. Now this pullback one day 
is not a fixed or an over optimized value in fact you can try all the pullbacks and you will find a good strategy so these are the results for example for a pullback of four bars these are the results for three bars and these are the results for two bars as you can see all of them work beautifully now since we have this condition to exit we need to put a stop loss in case this condition doesn't happen now i hate stop losses so i will use a number of bars so if we click on this strategy and let's look at the number of bars in a trade so if we sort by the highest you can see the highest is 18 and then 17 twice and 16 15 so maybe uh, 15 bars or even 14 will do uh, well so let me try so exit after 14 bars and let's see what we get so let me put back this to one and this looks very good we're still making the same amount of money same number of trades almost uh, so i like this one so be, i like it because it doesn't affect the strategy that much so it's just a protection in case we don't hit our uh, target and now for natural gas so again exactly the same strategy but it's the opposite so again this is natural gas uh, daily time frame and we're trading one contract at a time so if the close is higher than the previous close, we will short. Remember, we are trying to short after this pattern. So when the price goes up, we want to short and exit. Price goes up, we short and we want to exit. So here, when the close is higher than the previous close, we short. Then we exit when the close is lower than the previous low. And if I switch this to low, so from high to low, let's look at the changes. So currently we're making 65000 with almost three to one return to drawdown ratio. This makes 54,000 with 1.1 return to drawdown ratio. Now I'm not concerned more uh, about the money we are making, I'm concerned more about the drawdown. And when the close is lower than the previous high, perform the best. So this is usually a one bar or two bar pattern. And if we run the strategy, so this is the strategy about 800 trades 61 win percent and about 80 dollars on average per trade now if you look at the number of bars and i sort you can see the highest number is five and then four and three now that we have the two patterns applied to two different instruments but exploiting their characteristics we have two great strategies these strategies can be easily tested for robustness and they will yield a robust strategy because again they are going with the direction of the instrument now to create a portfolio of these strategies now you can easily adjust the look back period but those strategies will be highly correlated because if a look back of one or two or three most of the time they will be above 0.5 or 0.6 correlation and the correlation meaning that they are doing the same trade basically they are trading the same trade except they are entering at different point in time so a much better workflow to build a portfolio of the same pattern is to add different filters and strategy quantex here is very strong in that area because you can easily automate that or even if you don't want to automate it you can easily add a condition with a template and you can get hundreds of filters added immediately so going back to the natural gas strategy to add a condition we can go to settings advance and switch this to a template once it's a template we can come back to the entry and add a random condition once you add a random condition you can save this strategy and what this random condition in green will do it's basically a reference point for strategy quant x to replace it very quickly with other filters now these filters can be anything it can be a pattern or an indicator or a value whatever you want and you can pick and choose what to test or you can just randomly do it and that's what we will do in order to do that we need to go to the builder module and we go to full settings and now we want to build from a template 
So this is the template we built and we will use this template to add filters to this strategy. So these will not change. These will not change. And this will not change. The only thing that will change in the strategy is the random condition. So we go to builder and we load our template. And just like I showed you now, these things doesn't matter. Like even if it says long and short, it will only generate short strategies because our template doesn't have long. And we only need to be concerned with the number of conditions. So since I want to add one condition, I'll make sure that this says one, minimum one, maximum one. That will make sure I will only add one condition. And then the data module here, you can play with it as you like. Now I'll put out of sample because I will do some filters with the out of sample. Then trading options, I picked nothing. And this is what I'm saying with the building blocks. It's up to you what to choose. I just uh, selected, I think, all of them. So here are 315 blocks, 100 blocks, 57 blocks. All of them are chosen and we will try all of them. We are entering at market, exiting after number of bars again. These will not make any difference because the entry is a market order. So this is short enter at market. So it doesn't matter what you do here, limit or stop, it will enter at market. So if I run this template now, you can see it will start printing some strategies. Now all these strategies using the same template, uh, except adding different filter and I'm ranking them uh, at the end. So let's stop and let's look at a couple of strategies. So let's look at this one, go to source code, and this is pseudo code, so just plain English. And as you can see, this is our main strategy. When the close is higher than the previous close three bars ago, and this is the SMA filter. And then we go the next one, it's the same thing, close greater than three bars ago. Uh, this is a filter of the month. Another one, the filter is CCI, another one, the filter is Haiken Ashi, and so on and so forth. And now we have a data bank of strategies. I stopped at 250. And now you can easily sort them by whatever you like. So here are the metrics. And of course, you can easily sort. Let's pick, for example, this one. And let me pick the one with the highest average trade. And let me pick the one with the highest return to drawdown. That's the same, uh, lowest stagnation. And once you pick the strategies you like, you can save them as an SQX format to load them in your portfolio module. Now, these are the same strategies only added with a different filter. When I say the same strategies, the same pattern to enter and to exit. And then I only have different filters. The reason is, so I get rid of the correlations because each filter will produce different results. For example, volatility will produce different results than direction, than volume, than patterns, and so on and so forth. So I already did that. And if we go to Portfolio Master, I loaded here four strategies of the ES and four strategies for natural gas. Okay, so these are the results the, of the strategies. And now we will instruct uh, Portfolio Master to create our portfolio. So if we go to full settings, let me pull this down. So I'm using the full data and in sample and out of sample. And each portfolio will have a minimum of two strategies and a maximum of four strategies. Maximum, we will store 100 strategies. And I'm using the return to drawdown ratio of the full sample as my ranking. And I'm restricting the portfolio to be only 0.3 correlation. So we will not have a portfolio of highly correlated strategies. Now with all this, we also have a couple of filters, return to drawdown greater than four and profit factor greater than 1.3. So if I go back here, so I'm using the results data bank. So this is the data bank. I'm using all the strategies. And we will put the results in the target data bank, which is the simple strategies. So here, theoretically, we should have 100 portfolios of minimum two strategies, maximum four, with low correlation below 0.3. So it only generated 39 strategies. Now I'm saying only because these are the only number of strategies that can fit our criteria, which is two to four strategies with greater than four return to drawdown ratio greater than 1.3 profit factor 
and less than 0.3 correlation. And you can see these are the strategies, the, the number of the strategies, so 0 and 1, 0 and 2, 0 and 3. And then we have some three strategies. And we don't have any portfolio with four strategies. The reason being is, again, is the correlation. So let me look at the portfolio with three strategies. So let's look at this one. And let's go to portfolio correlation. Let me squeeze this down. And you can see they're all near zero, the correlation. So this is two ES strategies and one natural gas strategy. Now, the overview of the portfolio is we're making 193,000. 70% win rate on average 242 average trade, average number of bars in a trade 3.39. These are the single equities of each strategy. This is the portfolio of three strategies and this is the out of sample part. And we can check the next one. This is making about $250,000, a smoother ride, I think, on the equity curve. And let's look at the strategies. So let's compute the correlation. They're all near zero. And again, it's two ES strategies with one natural gas strategy. At the end of the day, the only way to trade successfully in the financial market and to stay profitable is to trade a portfolio of uncorrelated strategies. So your job as a trader is to build robust strategies, combine them in a portfolio with lower correlation. And software like Strategy Quant X make that really easy to implement. To learn more, make sure to watch this video and I will see you there.